Hello commanders and welcome to part 9 of the Kingdom of Zealandia series. Today we are going to start some action finally, but before that, let me share with you how we are going to upgrade our air force of the naval patrol aircrafts and also we need eyes all around our island. This is why we are going to need the eyes and the vision of the AWACS. Of course, anyone who's, who is going to invade New Zealand is going to come from the shadows, is going to come from the oceans without any alarm. This is why we need a lot of eyes all around us in all of the intersections of the ocean. Also, in Alice Springs, our capital, our fortified capital, I am spamming the mobile art artilleries. Of course, like we said in the last episode, mobile artilleries in the European uh, doctrine, they have um, a HP boost and also damage. They are very good in the European doctrine. Also, they do not consume any electronics. There is a naval radar approaching us here. Actually, lately I've been uh, seeing a lot of mov movements in the Chinese Sea. Naval radars going and coming, it's a little bit weird. This is why I did not want to go into action immediately. I wanted to see what is happening in the world. And here I can see that China and India, both they are in huge battle, in huge invasion against each other. This is good for us. This is going to keep India busy going to keep china busy and new zealand lurking around waiting for the right moment to strike here also look at that japan has lost his capital to rogue state tokyo after he was being bombarded by i don't know what but 100 percent he has been bombarded by navies there i think there are a task force stationed uh, in front of Tokyo has been bombarding it overnight and also i believe that task force belongs to nigeria a little bit weird huh in the last episode, you saw that Germany was uh, solo, but today he has allied with France. Two big powers allied against each other, with each other. Well, the naval radar was uh, Japan, level 1 motorized infantry and max level main battle tanks. Looks like Japan is going back to his island, to his nation, to retrieve and recover his capital. But where was he going? He already took down all of Korea. The Korean Peninsula now has been taken by Japan. There is another naval radar going to Japan, but who is this? Should I attack it or not? Japan has retrieved his capital Tokyo, but here, should I attack this naval radar or not? Here, my navy is stationed, is waiting for the right moment to strike. I want to see and know who is here. I am actually tempted to attack this. Let's see who is this. Really, I am attempted to attack this naval radar. But first of all, I am going to send my seventh task force to give me vision uh, and see who is this. Meanwhile, I am going to uh, advance to Hong Kong with my uh, attack submarines and also my task force there. I'd like to see if China has naval defenses in front of his city of Hong Kong. Now we are going to start our operation uh, uh, the Chinese Sea, of course, because now I th genuinely think that this is the right moment to strike. Uh, as long as China and India, they are at war, as long as Japan is also busy at war, now I am going to strike. Okay, let's see, let's see. I cannot wait any longer for this naval radar to pass. Who is this? Wait, what? What, Germany? What Germany is doing there? Bro, we accidentally now declared war and attacked the first one and the strongest nation in our game, Germany. Oh god, this complicates things even more. <laughs> oh god, but why, why, what, why Germany is here? What he is doing there with one Corvette? We killed one Corvette. Like, this is weird. This is, this is weird, man. Why Germany is sending one Corvette to Japan, like? Wait, what? Please, if someone of you understood something, please enlighten me. Please, I'm just waiting for an explanation here. Of course, I do not want to declare war on Germany now because I am waiting to do... My plan was to declare war on China and Japan at the same time, take them under the rule of the Kingdom of Zealandia. But now declaring war versus Germany is very bad. Look at that. 
Germany is very big and also he was inviting us all the time to his coalition he wants me to be in his coalition but I kept refusing and refusing you can see clearly in the chat that he has been waiting for me to join his coalition okay I'm going to send peace I do not want war versus Germany now it's not the time for it I do not even have a decent land army to fight him no 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 this is not the time for it First, I need to beat off Japan and also China. Even China is going to be uh, a tough, um, a tough task because on land I am not that strong. Yes, I am now upgrading my mobile arteries, but they are still level one, and it's going to to take ages and ages for my mobile arteries to reach the front. They are going to sail on the ocean. Of course, they are not upgraded yet. They cannot be airlifted. So yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Yeah. I am spamming the naval patrol aircrafts now, of course, the AWACS also, SAMs and mobile artilleries. I'm going to try to upgrade them fast, the mobile artilleries, to be able to airlift them. I'll upgrade the NPA as well. Of course, the NPA, it's a must to be upgraded because like that I will have a bigger attack range, of course. And I will build a few AWACS. AWAX, they are going to be helpful on the land to give me sight, to give me vision for my mobile artilleries later. Yeah, look at this. There is a naval radar in front of Hong Kong. After all, China has naval defenses there. Okay, let's retreat. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. I am going to put that naval radar on the edge of my attack range of 100 of my attack submarines. Like that, I can attack, hit and run. I will not lose time by that. Okay, look at this. On the edge, hit it and go back. Well, there is no need to go back because it was one corvette and I killed it with one single strike. Also, when you are operating with attack submarines, try to keep them always in high seas. Let's have a look at the situation of this map. Kingdom of Zealandia versus the Chinese Empire. Look at the Chinese Empire in red. Of course, the rest of the red is Germany. I do not want to have war with Germany. I hope he accepts peace for now. But if he doesn't, and if he sends his navy for me, I am ready. For, well, I'm not 100% ready because all of my navies, they are in the Chinese Sea and near Japan. If he sends everything to New Zealand, well, that's bad news. Yeah, that's bad news. I do not want that to happen. Please, Germany, just accept peace. Please. Okay, let's keep advancing now to Hong Kong. If there is any other naval radars there, if not, let our destroyers and frigates bombard Hong Kong and destroy that level 4 naval base. Meanwhile, uh, near the coasts of Japan, I am trying to encircle Japan from all the sides with uh, attack submarines escorted by uh, the task forces composed of uh, frigates, of course. Yeah, it's the frigates, they are very important in this situation now because um, Japan might have naval patrol aircraft. Well, look at this. China has changed his status with us to peace. China does not want war with us, of course, because he is suffering to engage and invade uh, India. He does not want to open a second front, but this is our golden chance to invade China, of course. Yeah. Well, it's going to be to take a little bit of while here for my task forces to be in position. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to change uh, my task forces to um, aggressive mode. Of course, the aggressive mode is very important here because when you are moving your ships and you are offline, you close the laptop. If someone of your enemies is trying to attack you, your ships, they will engage automatically without giving them the order. So this is why I'm going to change all the status of my task forces and navies to aggressive mode. This is the war alert. The war alert. If you see any enemy nearby, attack him, engage with him automatically. My land armies, they are positioned in the north of Vietnam. Uh, as soon as I have a decent stacks of mobile artilleries and mobile sam launchers, I will start the invasion from the north of Vietnam to go straight to Hong Kong and straight later on to dive deep inside the lands of China. I'm going to assemble my armies in uh, Alice Springs. As soon as my mobile artilleries, they are upgraded, I will airlift them to Vietnam. Thank you guys for watching episode nine. Uh, since the episode 10, the serious business is going to begin, it's going to be chaos. Don't miss it, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and wait for tomorrow's episode. Bye bye.